coming up next is is the 2018 CS Adventures XL Edition by Road Trek. Good job. <laughs> Hey guys, I am Angie. And I'm Lou. And we are Eat Sleep RV Repeat. And we are at the West Palm Beach RV Summer Show. And we want to thank Patty, who gave us um, media industry passes to come today. Thank you, Patty. So we decided to come check out a different road track. This one, I think it's like CL edition or... XL. Yeah, it's XL edition, but CSL. I'll look at it when we go back outside and tell you. Um, Although it's another like van type, sprinter type motorhome, it is a little bit bigger than the last one, so I feel a lot more comfortable with this one. So this one I can manage living in. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so there is the cab, which has overhead storage. This one has a captain's chair, which I think is interesting. And you know, it's always good to have extra seating. And something I absolutely adore, this one has a large fridge for versus the other one. 147, What are you pointing at, my love? Let the me turn around. The induction oven? The induction oven. The microwave induction The oven. microwave induction combo oven. oven. Got it. Uh, that's what? I just bumped, I'm sorry, guys. Storage? Yeah. Over the kitchen? Overhead. Kitchen overhead storage. Yeah. Is that the little... Um, A little locking mechanisms. Yeah. Let's look at the stove down here and the sink down here. Yeah, we've got the sink. So it's a one burner. Tough for a Cuban woman because I mean we cook a lot, but everything with this lifestyle is a learning curve. So I would learn how to be making one pot <laughs> meals. Oh, that's really deep. Yeah, plenty of cabinets and drawers. Yeah, very, uh, a lot of storage. I can definitely put layers in there. I'm not sure what we have here. Oh, this is also very big. So talk to me about the bathroom. The bathroom is, um, the same style as the last bathroom, but it's, um, longer. Yeah, when I so, looked in there, it looked a little bit longer. So it closes the same way. It's got this, um, overlap. So the door right here has a little latch, a little hook latch. When they come around. Here. So those bathrooms pretty much like the last Wait, one. wait, 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 wait. Sorry guys, you might see a difference in quality or like something different because I was recording with my phone before and the battery died. So I had to pull out my little webby camera and it's kind of hard to record with it at this angle, but glad. Tell me about that bathroom. So it's got uh, the overlay the same as the other one and uh, the same uh, latch on the bottom, That's but it's longer. It has a sink inside of it. Um, has the, the curtain, right. same as the other one. Uh, when I sat in this one, I'll show you. There's a lot more space here than there was in the other one. So this one feels a lot more comfortable. It's got the uh, shower head over here. So this one does feel a lot more comfortable than the other one does. Um, I think it's the same width but just a longer length than the other one was. We have a fantastic fan right up ahead which is great because since this doesn't seal all the way any uh, unfriendly odors that might come out <laughs> I'm sure that the fantastic fan will be able to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> the back also seems more spacious, which makes sense that this is the XL edition. Yeah, so it seems like this is, would serve as your um, bed, and there seems to be um, something that you know, might be stored. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, and then there's a, a wood piece that I'm assuming would go in here, right? and you could extend this bed even more. Yeah. Or this would become your... 
keep your dinette. Right, the pool has to be somewhere. It is a limited dinette because you do have this cabinet in here. Mm. It comes all the way down. Right, that kind of blocks that seating it area. Blocks the seating area. I see that. Um, but I do see that there is there seems to be. I'm not sure how. There's something in here, either fold out or. That's not good. On this side. There's a small table on this side. Flips up. This is a small table that flips out. Mm, cute little here. working space. Um, that or a night table. That too. <laughs> yeah. So, I definitely can't do the other one, but I can see myself in this one. Can you see yourself in this one? Yeah, I think I could live in this Yeah, right? It has a lot of storage. I mean, it's really well made in terms of the storage. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'm questioning right now is this cabinet here. It just, and it's it's a closet. It's a swing on top. Mm. But I'm just kind of questioning, like, why didn't they just go all the way down since you really... You probably Someone can't really sit there anyways. No, you probably... I guess it's leg space. Yeah, you could probably lean down. legs there, but... If you move it around a lot, like I do, I would wake up with tons of bruises would, on my yeah, legs. Absolutely. Yeah. And then there's a the TV here. The I saw that. I thought that was cute how they like protected it with yeah. that makeshift curtain cover type of deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little tiny TV. I see. Uh -huh. LG system up here. What is this? Mm -hmm. A DVD. Yep. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. Very interessante. Yeah. She says there's storage back there. I'm not sure what this is. This would be like your night table, your overnight night table. Uh huh. Um, because it has like you know a little space where you can put stuff in. And then in the back you have extra storage. I'd say you probably have two feet of storage under here. Deep. So, uh, two feet wide, deep? Wide. Two feet wide. Wide okay. and, uh, or however you want to do it. Length, <laughs> length of the, the width of the uh, sprinter uh -huh. and about uh, two feet width of storage. Got it. Which would probably be good for like camping supplies. Okay. Maybe you can fit a inflatable kayak back yeah, there. Yeah, our kayak. Also. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, great. This is a thumbs up. This is a thumbs up. I'm excited. Yeah, I like, I like this, this one. one too. Mm -hmm. And what did I say was that's 147,323. A bit, a bit out of our budget. Yeah. <laughs> By a long haul. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's do this. All right, so this is the CS Adventures XL Edition that we just saw from inside. It's a Mercedes-Benz chassis. Uh-huh. And uh, it's actually very spacious inside. I like it. Yeah. I don't know if I would spend nearly $150,000 on it, but if they could reduce it by $100,000, I'd consider it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, moving right along. Thanks for coming along and joining us at this RV show. If you like this video and you like that specific RV, be sure to click like. Subscribe to our channel and uh, click the little bell so you can receive our notifications for every time we put up a video. You know exactly what's going on with us. That would be awesome. Let's learn from each other and be kind to one another, guys. Take care. Later. <laughs> Bye.